As the final preparations for the G7 summit get underway, one topic on the minds of many is artificial intelligence. Yuko Fukushima is here with the details. Yes, as you know, big tech firms are convening to roll out their own platforms for generative AI like ChatGPT. Well, the software is spreading rapidly around the world. The Japanese government held uh, its first meeting to deal with this content-creating form of AI on Thursday. Prime Minister Kishida wants Japan to lead efforts to establish international rules on AI. Generative AI has the potential to positively change economies and societies, but it also has risks. We need to deal with its development appropriately. Countries around the world are now trying to figure out the right balance. Japan, as the G7 host this year, will need to take leadership in creating common rules. Kishida instructed the relevant government ministries to identify ways to maximize the use of generative AI as well as pinpoint its risks. AI was also high on the agenda at the G7 Digital and Tech Ministers Summit at the end of April. The discussions included how to ensure the free flow of trusted data across borders, as that's an important and basic part of setting international rules for AI usage. Data is a driver of technology as massive amounts of it go into artificial intelligence and also supports everything from self-driving systems to factory automation. By feeding AI with data, new applications are emerging. One is developing new medicines and treatments. The problem now is that each country has different rules and regulations for data transactions. So, at the Digital Summit, ministers agreed to establish an office to oversee the free flow of trusted data among member countries. They aim to have that in the agenda at the summit. Now, this concept originated from Japan in 2019. Since then, it has been slowly taking shape, being discussed at subsequent summits. I talked to Japan's Digital Transformation Minister, Kono Taro. He has been advocating for a framework to actually have an office for data regulation up and running. Kono says it will take too much time if the framework tried to agree on a single set of rules for data flow. So Japan is taking a more realistic approach. We would like to create an international database on data regulations, and we would like to update. Uh, we would like to continue to update. So if you wanted to do business in Japan, Europe, or anywhere on this planet, if you could uh, go into this database, you can find out exactly what you have to do, where you're going. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, one step. Uh, forward for uh, global uh, data convergence. Kona says another project for the framework is testing the new software that converts personal data into an anonymous form for privacy purposes. If the framework can verify the software's effectiveness, companies can safely use it to utilize personal data. So you're going to do all these projects on, you know, creating a database mm -hmm. and testing the uh, softwares to uh, ensure uh, privacy and mm -hmm. security of data. So what is the ultimate goal of this uh, institution? The G7 is uh, trying to set up this international framework, but uh, we would like to open up to the like-minded countries and uh, even for the global south. So first agreement among G7 countries. Mm -hmm. Do you think that's difficult? I mean, we hear that there are very different views mm -hmm. on mm -hmm. the cross-border data flows, even among the G7 countries. Sure. Different views. But uh, everyone thinks we have to do something to ensure the data free flow, because data is the sort of core for the economic growth now. What kind of results and by when do you expect this institution to produce mm -hmm. so that you know, people will see this as an effective institution? Well, if we could get the endorsement from the leadership this year, I think we can uh, start establishing international framework next year. Mm -hmm. And then once it's up and running, uh, we would do all those concrete projects. Mm -hmm. We would like to start out small and we wanted to build a s success. So, you know, n we don't want to start big and not doing well. Or we would like to start out very small 
and uh, keep success on top of each other. So if this framework on international free flow of trusted data actually starts working, it could be a game changer for global economic growth. But to make it work, governments will have to move quickly and flexibly as the world of technology is moving fast.